Hi, I'm Min for K-Pop TV. X Japan, formerly known as X, is a Japanese Visual K heavy metal rock band who reached breakthrough success in the 80s. Visual K, or Visual Style, is a movement by Japanese musicians that is often characterized by elaborate hairstyles, makeup, and costume. Studying classical music since the age of four and playing the drums since the age of nine, Yoshiki became the icon and face of X Japan as the band's leader and drummer and also as the composer for the band's songs. X Japan captured the hearts of fans and their popularity was shown as they sold out over a dozen concerts in Japan's Tokyo Dome to nearly 55,000 screaming fans per show. With the disbanding of X Japan in 1997, Yoshiki relocated to Los Angeles where he continued his music career and extended his work to include Hollywood movie soundtracks and other global projects. He was also asked to compose the theme song for the 69th Golden Globe Awards in 2012. Yoshiki also has his own jewelry line, wine, his own named credit card, and a Hello Kitty doll named Yoshi Kitty. X Japan has since reunited in 2007. With the release of his classical album, Yoshiki Classico, Yoshiki performed at the Grammy Museum and is currently on his classical world tour. On April 28th, Yoshiki performed at the San Francisco Symphony and had the honor and opportunity to sit down with him and ask him a couple questions, including the inspiration for his album and even about his involvement with the production of a South Korean rock band named Trax. What's the inspiration for your album, Yoshiki Classical? Well, um, I was not really planning on creating the album or anything. Just every time I got asked to compose some of the uh, big event theme song, so I kept, you know, uh, doing this. Then, since I have a big uh, theme song collection, so I decided to combine all those and put it on the album. What message do you want to send to your fans through your music? A message? Well, I don't know if this is like, um, but in general, I always think that nothing is impossible. That's my kind of slogan. Melody is like something that you can, I don't know, related to your memory, or related to your, you know, your everyday life or anything. So, um, when I had a very hard time, uh, I lost my father when I was 10 years old. Uh, if I didn't have music, I don't know if I survived. So, it's like melody or music is like my life. Then, because the melody supported I you know, those music supported me, also my fans were very supportive. So, I want to just give them, um, my melody on position music to support fans as well. So we understand that you work on a lot of projects including the US or globally. Um, we actually know that you actually helped produce a South Korean band, which was also very visual K, called Tracks, mm -hmm. part of SM Entertainment in 2004. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience and how that collaboration came to be? Yeah, so um, one of my friends actually um, um, label uh, asked me if I'm interested in uh, producing Korean artist uh, tracks. Then I look at the video like, whoa, this is so, they are so cool, you know? I, I immediately said yes. So then, it was an amazing experience for me to work them. They are very, how you say, they were dedicated, you know? So, yeah, it was, it was amazing. So, we understand this is on your second stop in San Francisco, and you have at least about 11 more cities to go. So, uh, what's your plan after the tour? Well, um, as we announced today, you know, I also have a Madison Square Garden in the Japan, um, October 11th. Um, also, this year's Class Cup World Tour is still a part one. So, I may also planning on doing part two as well. So, you know, love to visit Korea, love to visit um, more countries in Asia and Europe, as well as East Coast. Much thanks to Yoshiki and his team for a great interview. For more information about the Yoshiki Classical World Tour and for links to some of his greatest works, check out K-Pop TV's homepage where you can also find a link to a great article about him from ABC News. I'm Min for K-Pop TV.